my normies and non-normies. Buenas dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Depending on whatever time I post this or whenever you see this, however it may go. But before I continue, Lyrical wants to pop in and say hi. You gotta verbally say hi for the podcasters down here. Uh, hi, podcast. Okay, so you're waving hi to YouTube and you're saying hi to the podcasters down here. And mommy multitask, okay? She does two things at the same time. Okay, I didn't know you were gonna dance for the YouTubers. Okay, can I now get my show back? Yeah. Thank you, high five. (laughs) How is it going on this Wednesday? Y'all probably thought I forgot it was podcast Wednesday, didn't y'all? But I didn't forget, I really didn't. It's been a crazy, but not crazy morning. So last night, Biba got triggered, um... Lyrical had turned off the light when they were in the bathroom, and for some reason, it it caused Biva's PTSD to, I don't know, overreact, and then she ended up, sorry, snapping at her, and then I just basically was like, why are you snapping at her? Like, just because... And she didn't talk. Just because somebody turned the light off, um... Oh, shoot. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I just realized that now that I got a text message. Sorry, you guys. Who Do Not Disturb. We're not about to mess up this recording. But, um, uh, you know what? She mentioned, and I got to do it. Hold on. Give me one second, you guys. I am, like, so not focused right now. And this is, like, not cool. Let's try to listen to this one. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, we won't have commercials. Switch and save well, I don't want y'all to listen to the commercial. That's why YouTube gets on my nerves, because they be putting up commercials. And I'm over here trying to listen to high vibration music. I'm happy you find it so funny, Lyrical. It's like so hilarious to you. Like, oh my gosh. Alright, so this one that I'm playing, you guys, is Frequency of Luck and Money Attract Wealth, Love and Health, Hope and Faith. So hopefully, while you guys are listening to my podcast and listening to the music in the background, it'll be bringing you guys those above mentioned, okay? Can you please stop? But back to what I was saying. So I did not forget, um, like I said, Viva was having a difficult time. Um, she didn't really get much sleep last night, so... After she got triggered when when Lyrical, when Stankadoodle had um turned off the bathroom light, she it triggered her for some reason. I'm not sure why. She doesn't even know why herself. And then it just put her in a dark space and spiraled downhill. And she started with the stimming and cracking her bones and hitting herself. And the whole entire time I'm letting her go through the process Um, Because I know sometimes she has to go through the process. But as a mom, it's hard. It's hard to watch your child hit themselves. And it's hard to know that it's being done because they're blaming them. Stop, please. Do not do what your sister or brother do. You don't have what they have, so please stop. I'm just doing myself. Please stop, like I just said. I'm not going to repeat myself again. One that's making fun of them, so that's not okay. They have conditions that is the reason why they do it, so please stop. Because there's nothing wrong with you. Sorry, you guys, but she was trying to do what my kids do, and it's not okay because they already don't like when they do it themselves, and it's not okay if they're going to feel like somebody's making fun of them because then they're going to feel like they can't be themselves, and that's not okay. Um, but yeah, so she, it's hard as a parent to sit there and watch your child beat themselves up because they're feeling really bad about the fact that they got called out because they did snap for no reason. 
and I was calm, cool, and collective like I am now, exactly how I am now with you guys, that's how I was when I was talking to her, but for some particular reason, it just took her to the dark spot, the voices came, and she just, yeah, it wasn't a good night for her, and she, I sent her to bed because I wanted her to stop beating herself up. And normally when, you know, I send her to bed, she'll go to sleep. And in the morning, sometimes she'll wake up a little off, but nothing major. But last night, she took me very literal and tried to go to bed without taking her night meds. And it didn't work out. That's why you're not supposed to be on a bed with the soda. You know this. You're to be at the table drinking. I'm, I'm, I really am not going to buy any excuse of forgetting I'm just letting you know I'm not going to buy any excuse of forgetting because we're not doing this. The table is right there, sweetheart. Just like you ate your food at the table, you can remember to take your drink and drink it at the table. Sorry, you guys. This one room thing is beyond frustrating. It's irritating. It's triggering. Like... I left one trigger for another trigger. I just can't seem to get out of triggers. But back to Biva, because that's what I was talking about before I got sidetracked. Um, so this morning she woke up off still because she didn't really sleep. So it was in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep. So that's not any type of sleep. So she was still off this morning. Then she had her therapy session. And I was trying to get an appointment for her to be get reevaluated again. And we had to fill out some documentation, and that took longer. And then I had preschool, I mean, I had a homeschool lyrical because since we've been here, we haven't homeschooled. Um, so I had to homeschool her today. So it was, it was a little crazy, you know, a little crazy day. Um, and then, I, I mean, I remembered I had you guys. Like, don't get me wrong. I remembered I had to do the podcast. Do not get me wrong. And it would have been better if I did the podcast earlier, but life was just not on the same page with me as my brain was so it just wasn't gonna work out that way and um she's better now you know oh thank god because sometimes it can take a couple of days to get her back to normal but she is better now um it's just that like we have a lot of stuff that is still here um, I haven't been able to get it to the storage because I have no way to get to the storage. And we're trying to diminish, like, pack up the summer clothes so that we can have the winter clothes since the weather is already changed up. But um, it's a lot for her to do on her own. You know what I mean? And as a mom, it takes a big toll on me because I can't help as much as I would want to. Um... I can't take over and dictate or take over and guide her. So it just adds on a lot of frustrations because of what I'm limited on what I can do. And lately, my chronic pain has actually been high. Um, and it's frustrating. Oh, I got to check one thing before I forget. I Hold on. Can you guys? I am recording. I swear I said that. <sighs> Biba, I'm sharing it with you because it's on its way. I'm talking to your sister. Did it airdrop already? Yeah. More than one? Sorry. This one. You got it though? Yeah. Cause I don't I don't know why I still said pick up outside even though I was saying come to the door, but so I outside yeah, the when they yeah. So I don't need to do your I don't know, my stomach may. I don't know, my stomach may. Listen, I got the weirdest appetite. I'll go days without eating, and then all of a sudden, my stomach will be like, Listen here, B. I'm so tired of this. You're not feeding me. You're not giving me this. You're not giving me that. And then it'll start craving the weirdest things. But because Bev already had a hard night last night, I did take some money to order dinner, even though we really shouldn't be spending money. 
but I needed to give her a little break and she's trying to get the room, you know, completely organized and still has to go through the summer clothes to pack it up and leave the winter clothes out and it's a lot for her. Um, and I try to be a fair mom as best as I can because my kid could easily be like, no, I'm not doing anything, you know, and then it would leave me in a situation of how am I going to figure this out? Me being in a wheelchair and I'm only limited to a certain amount of things that I can do. Um, so I don't try to take my kids for granted. I definitely do not try to take my kids for granted. I love my kids to death. They may be my biggest trigger sometimes. But I try not to take them for granted, especially when they're going out their way to help me out because they don't have to. They're not obligated to. You know, it's my job to take care of them. It's my job to help them out. It's my job to, you know, turn them into productive men and women of society. It's not supposed to be their job to help mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at it because the way that I was raised, I did everything in the household. Um... I cooked, I cleaned at a young age. I was responsible for everything because my mom was always working, so I had to, you know, fend for myself. But when it comes to my kids, I never wanted that life for them, if that makes sense. I never wanted them to feel like slaves or maids or like they couldn't do anything right. You know what I'm saying? So I never wanted to take them for granted. Um, once we can get like into our own place, I do plan on doing allowance so that they can start having income so that they can start learning how to handle money since that's something that was never taught to me. And I want my kids to have a better you know, possibility. Like for example, I don't know if you guys know this, and this is like, you know, neither here nor there if you really want to be technical. But my era, you know what I'm saying? I'm a 79. I was born in 79. So I was born literally the last month of 79. So you can just call me an 80s baby because I was born December 79, literally on the 5th. So I was only there for, you know what I'm saying, what, 20 days, 25 days. I was, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, you could basically say I'm an 80s baby. And we weren't taught a whole bunch about credit and all these things. Like, we did have a business, uh, I forgot what it was called, and they would come, like, once a month, I think it was, and talk to you about how to write a check and things that showed you how to write a check and how to balance a checking account and things like that. But they never really spoke to you about how important your credit was and how it worked. So I learned not too long ago probably like two years ago that if you have a credit card you can place your child on that card and as long as you're doing good with the credit and you're paying it like you're supposed to be and you're on top of it you're building their credit along the way while you're maintaining yours so I just read a post from the baby's godmother um Nasia and you, I don't know if she's gonna be hearing this cause you know what I'm saying but um, she had put her son on there, and he now has an 800 credit score, thanks to, you know what I'm saying, her maintaining. Like, if you're really responsible with your bills, and you're responsible with your credit, place your child on your credit card as the additional card holder, and that automatically adds points to their credit. I've only had Beva on my credit card for a year, so she's only at an 8, because um, it's only a $300 credit limit. I mean, it just boosted up to 450 but I'm trying to rebuild my credit. So I feel like if I would have had her on there before, I would have been more responsible. But I'm happy I kind of didn't because if I wasn't, it would have messed up her credit. And then, you know, I would feel horrible. But now I'm trying to build her credit and give her, you know, what I'm saying a credit score. So I have her on two of my cards and um, I plan if I apply for another card, I plan to put my son on one even though he's 13 because you never never too young to build credit you hear me um so that he can start building credit as well and then i'll do the same thing with the little one so that she can start getting credit as well but um it just helps boost up i mean i don't know who who didn't know that i'm just sharing knowledge with you guys um lyrical please stop stop
I'm just sharing knowledge with you guys, you know, never know who it could help, never know who, who can benefit from it, so that's just me sharing knowledge, but don't worry about it, can you please pick up the plate, why was there a plate on the table, Delano, no, not with your foot, put it in the garbage, please, okay. thank you, um, yeah, so, that was not really what I was going to talk about, but hey, there you go. Y'all got some free knowledge from me, but yeah, so it, it was just been a difficult somewhat day. Like, I'm just happy we got preschooling done. It wasn't for the two hours we usually do. It was like for an hour and some change, but I'm happy that that got accomplished. Um, I was talking about how I traded in different stressors. For the stressors I have now. And you guys are going to be like, woman, you're never satisfied. That is not true. I am satisfied when I'm not triggered. And that is very rare. But I do have OCD um, due to my upbringing. And I cannot stand when things are not in their place. I cannot stand when I see clutter. I, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, okay... Y'all see the pile in front of Delano? That's stuff that Biva is trying to clean up. Sorry, podcasters, I can't see. That's stuff that Biva is trying to clean up, right? It is irritating my soul that it's there. And then behind me, y'all see the dollhouse, right? Okay. And y'all see the other pile right there on my bed? It is irritating my soul that it is there. But I know she's trying to clean and we had to move some stuff so I can print out some stuff for lyrical homeschooling. So that kind of explained why we had, you know what I'm saying, some extra mess going on. But like, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Like, it really will put me in the worst mood in the world. It'll like... <sighs> It'll put me in the worst mood in the world, like, for real, for real. And, um, I know this about me, so I do try to, like, um, be mindful when I speak or be mindful when I, like, have to react. But it is so hard when you're, like, right there, right there, right there, that, that, that. And that and that and that and that and that and then your brain won't shut up and all your brain is doing is pointing out every single thing that is wrong like on my desk right now I wish I could move this without the microphone cutting my video but it's gonna cut my video if I touch it because my USB is loose on the laptop but on my desk right now I this little desk that came with the room is really tight and small so I'm limited on what I can have but I have an organized unorganized mess Okay, so I have, like, my caboodles with the crayons and pens and pencils and all that but on the side of the laptop. I have to put Lyrical's caboodle back because she has her own caboodle that has her homeschooling supplies in it. Um, and then I have... Ooh, we didn't do our afternoon affirmations. Oh, I gotta do my afternoon affirmations. Oh my god, you guys. This is how off I was today. I did my morning affirmations. I did my morning routine. But I didn't do my afternoon affirmations. Now I got to do my afternoon affirmations. And I'm about to do my evening affirmations pretty much right after it because of the time frame. Talking to you guys and looking at my books, I just realized, yeah, nice going, Lynette. Nice going. Nice going, Lynette, for real. You won't, we're going to have to see. Yeah. Are you looking? Because I, I didn't know the app was running slow, so she almost called you or texted you because I didn't know she was right running because it said she was on the other side. Oh, my bad. It, I put it on Do Not Disturb so that no, it wouldn't. No, she was going to. She didn't oh, get. It wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have went through anyways because oh. I put it on Do Not Disturb so that I wouldn't cut my um my podcast because I'm tired of people cutting my podcast. I'm tired of people. Yo, do you know how annoying it is? I mean, stop, Lynette. <laughs> Lynette, stop. Stop, Lynette. Regroup. Say that nicer. Don't be mean about it. The whole world don't know what you do. I'm going to recollect my thoughts. I'm going to recollect my words. 
That food smell good though. I might have to let y'all go. But hold on, no. <laughs> I'm gonna recollect my thoughts and I'm gonna recollect my words. Okay, so because I'm in a wheelchair, a lot of people just automatically assume that I don't do anything. That I just sit on my ass all day and I do nothing. So recording for my podcast, I guess, is nothing. Recording for YouTube, I guess, is nothing. Um, attempting to write my blogs is nothing. Attempting to promote for my ideal clients is nothing. Actually doing coaching sessions for my two paid clients is nothing. Like, I tell people, text me before you call me. First of all, I'm not really a phone person, okay? I'm not really a phone person. I don't even talk to those that I love on the phone, like, okay? So I'm not really a phone person. Um... But I tell people, text me first because you never know. I can be in my own coaching session for myself. I can be in a coaching session with other coaches because we're either practicing or giving each other feedback on something. Or I could be with my paid clients. Or I can be with an ideal client that I'm trying to get to sign on. Or I can be in training. You know, I do take training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, so I have training three days out of the week, okay? And on one of those days, I have training three times, which is Tuesday. So I have training on Monday evenings, Tuesday afternoon, and Tuesday evening, two Tuesday afternoon trainings, one right after the other one, and then an evening training, and then Wednesday evening as well. So like tonight, I was supposed to have my client um, have her session at 6 o'clock, but she actually asked me if we can reschedule it for Sunday. So even though I don't work on Sundays, I was like, cool, not a problem. I understand the situation. I got you. So we'll do it on Sunday. Um, which would have been a rush rush for me to get off of here anyways, because I would have had to get ready for her session. But then at 830, I have a training. Um, so it kind of worked out that she put back the schedule, the session, pushed it forward so that I don't have to be so rush rush to get to the training. But I do do things, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just sitting on my ass all day doing nothing. I am hunting money and my ideal clients, okay? Because I need income to be able to survive. And it just, I love it how people just call me and assume that I'm not doing anything. Like, okay, I don't have a job. You're right, I don't. That don't mean just call my phone whenever you want to. So now I have to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I record the podcast on my phone so that I can record for YouTube at the same time. Sooner or later, you guys, I will sync these up correctly, all right? My goal is if I create the podcast on Monday, I'm posting a YouTube video on Tuesday. If I create the podcast on Wednesday, then I'm posting a YouTube video on Thursday. That is my end game plan. But I do have videos on my computer still that I still have to post. And in reality, my two posting days for YouTube are Tuesdays and Thursdays, the opposite of my podcast. Now, I haven't really been posting much vlogs, you know what I'm saying, on the YouTube channel, which I need to because, um, yeah. It's different than talking to the podcast. Like, I get really silly when I'm doing my YouTube videos. But when I'm on the podcast, I'm a little more... I don't want to say sophisticated. I am not as ghetto or ratchet. Let's put it like that. So, I will get my life together, you guys. One day. I promise you. You guys are going to look back and look at my podcast. Well, listen to my podcast, not look at it, sorry. And then look at my YouTube and look at all my other platforms. You're going to be like, damn, that chick done came far. And I'm going to be like, yeah, bro, I did it. I did it. I made it big, bro. They cheated. Those aren't the biscuit, the honey butter biscuits. Those are rolls. I'm, I'm only taking things out one at a time. That's all I can say. Churches! I'm in fault. <laughs> you know what? Do not Let me get the one. Let me get one. I'm, I, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna... Yeah, this is just... 
honey and wine. Mmm, but it's still really good. Mmm. <laughs> okay, can't talk too much smack. It's not what I wanted. I wanted the honey butter biscuits. But these honey butter rolls are hitting the spot. I was hungry too. Sorry y'all for me being rude and just eating while I'm talking to you guys, but the food made my stomach hungry. And the fact that these were not buttermilk honey biscuits, look, my stomach is even growling. But, y'all, I'm so sorry for getting sidetracked. I really didn't mean it. But, one day, you guys are going to see my progress. And y'all going to say she came from nothing and made something out of herself. Mark my words, okay? I see it coming. I see all my blessings gonna come. All the ideal clients are all gonna come. My Please accounts. Stop every time I take something out. My accounts are gonna oh, be monetized. I can I can I can see it all happening. I hope y'all can see it too to be honest with you. But I'll get it together. My goal is to like I said when I create the podcast on Monday and Wednesday to post a video on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, hmm, YouTube might be getting more content then because I still need to post vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Just for the channel. So I need to figure out how I'm going to work that out, especially between my coaching session and everything else. But I'm going to make this work because <clears throat> you guys are my first two clients even though y'all don't talk to me, even though y'all don't send me voice notes or comment down below, y'all are my real true first clients. Like, y'all just free. Because y'all ain't paying me. That's why I don't be coaching y'all like that. Because y'all don't pay me. Maybe if y'all paid me, I'll coach y'all. Let me stop. Let me stop. I gotta be nice. I can't be mean. But, um... It's a nice stress not it's a nice stress relief from having to worry about rats and mice and roaches. It's just now another stressor in a different way and I still got to figure out how to show up in this way. Um my chronic pain has been no bueno. Me tiene loca la cabeza. Me vuelve loca, 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 loca. It drives me completely insane because one minute I could be okay and the next minute it's like, oh my God, I'm in so much pain, sitting, laying, standing, nothing works. And it is what it is. I've learned to live this way. I mean, it's not an ideal way for anybody to live, but it is what it is. Um, but outside of that, I really do hope that you guys are having a good hump day. And oh. Oh, 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 but then I got to look it up. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can look it up. So I did post on my Instagram and my Facebook groups and my pages. And I made a post for Wednesday. And I'm calling it Wishing Wednesday. And this is the questions that I want to ask you guys. And I would love to get your answers and your response. It would be awesome to be able to interact with you guys for real. So the questions that I posted are, what are you wanting or wish for this Wednesday? Better yet, what is stopping you from making that wish come true? Don't you deserve your wish? Hmm. Do you deserve your wish? Have you been naughty or nice? Are you going to be on that naughty or nice list? Let me know. Are you going to get some coal in your stockings? Hmm. But I'm going to leave y'all with that one. Wishing Wednesday.
all right? I'm going to read it to you one more time so you can answer these questions. And I'm so serious. I really want some answers. What are you wanting or wish for this Wednesday? Better yet, what is stopping you from making that wish come true? Don't you deserve your wish? And let me tell you, everybody deserves their wish. And everybody deserves to fight for that wish and to make it true. But um, I'm about to go smoke some trees. Um, my pain is ridiculous right now. My legs and my feet are drastically swollen. And then I'm going to eat some food. And try to relax before this training. But may y'all have a blessed rest of your hump day, okay? And make it count, make it count, make it count. Anyways, y'all don't need all that. Love y'all, gooses. See y'all later.